Hi, this is Lars Wallund from Capture Sweden with the fifth chapter of our video tutorials and the second part of the tutorial about plots. Last week I showed you how to fine-tune the symbols and the information around the symbols and this time I'm going to show you how to actually create a plot. But before we actually create a plot I'd like to show you one or two things about layers so I'm going to create two layers here, L1 and L2. I'm going to give them different colors. I'm picking a lighter shades so that they will be easier to read on the paper. Now I'm going to pick three fixtures, apply the first layer to those three, and then I will pick the other three fixtures and apply the second layer to those ones. And as you can see the symbols are picking up the colors of the layers. I also want to show you the other property called paper color which in contrast to the paper solid color is the outline color of the symbols. Right, so let's create a plot. I do that by right clicking on plots and choosing add new plot. I'll simply leave the name in this case and double click on it. This opens the plot editor. And one of the first things you might want to do in the plot editor is set up the page. And the page size is available in Windows are the ones available for the printer you have chosen. So the first thing I'm going to do here is change to my PDF printer, which makes it possible to change to A3 landscape mode. So what we're seeing now is a blank piece of paper into which by right clicking we can insert different things. So I'm going to start with inserting a view which starts off as an orthographic top view. Now as the view is selected you can move it around pretty much as you would with any other objects in the regular views. I can also resize it by using the corners and with the red buttons in the corner down here I can also navigate the contents of the view. Now for every view or other component in my plot there's a set of properties available. Most of these are simple uh, that I'll simply leave you to play with. But one feature that is quite central in capture and important is the layer set. So what I'm going to do is create a layer set to show you how it works. I'm going to call it LX only and my goal here is to include only the two new layers that we just created and by using that layer set we filter out everything else from this plot view. So let's take a look at the other insets available. Um, most of these again are pretty straightforward uh, but the two ones I want to show you today is the layer key symbol which is basically just a list of all the layers in the plot. Uh, it has some nice properties here. For instance you can turn on the show solid color which shows you both the outline and the fill color of every layer. And again, you can use the layer set property to filter out particular layers. Also, we have the symbol key, which is a list of all symbols used in your project. You can tweak this list as well by double clicking on the symbol configuration property, where you can hide individual symbols as well as change the text. So if you know that you've just used a fake fixture in your visualization and that you're actually going to use mag lights in reality then you can change the text that goes along with the symbol. Right, so finally I want to show you that once you've added the uh, uh, components of your plot and you want to place them on the plot you can also select multiple uh, insets at a time and resize and move them all together, uh, which makes it a lot easier when you're arranging the, the final paperwork.
Right. As a final remark, I'd also like to show you that a complement to all this is, of course, also to simply save an image from a view, but then you don't get the options of, of setting up different kind of insets, etc. So that's just a quickie when you want to do something really fast. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you soon again.